Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Saturday. We have nine matchups on this NBA slate today, so go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And go ahead and sign up with the sponsor, Parlay Play. Get uh, $10 in risk-free entries when you guys do sign up. $5 for referring your friends. And you also get a 100% uh, bonus match on your initial $10 minimum deposit. So go ahead and hop in there. Free NBA contests pretty much every day with like $100 in prizes. So uh, go ahead and hop in there. And um, let's get some money. So uh, yeah, we'll hop into it here. Um, nine matchups, starting with the Houston Rockets versus the New York Knicks. Knicks opening up as 11 and a half point favorites with the over under at 211 and a half. The last 10 head to head, Houston 7 and 3. The Knicks are 7 and 3 covering in those 10 games. Then the over under in this series is 7 2 and 1. Uh, Houston, I mean, playing insanely bad basketball it's it's kind of it's kind of amazing that they've been this bad they're currently on you know 0 and 10 in their last 10 0 and 10 on the road i mean i mean they can't really beat anybody here uh nick's currently nick's been struggling here just one and three in their last four um Three and six in their last nine have not looked good here lately, but a nice matchup with Houston, I think will do the trick with as bad as this Houston team's playing. I think this is a great matchup for this next team to, to rebound off of coming off that, you know, they had that bad Orlando magic loss, which was, you know, not a good look for them, honestly. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the Knicks on a bounce back uh, when against this Rockets team, take the Knicks minus 11 and a half. Should be the front run front runners in your money line parlays as well. Next matchup, we have the Charlotte Hornets versus the Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks opening up as six point favorites with the over under at 226. The last 10 head to head, Charlotte six and four. Uh, five, four, and one covering in these 10 matchups. The over under is five and five in this series. Charlotte. On a four game winning streak, playing pretty good basketball here. Um, actually, as I'm recording, they are playing as I'm recording. We'll see if they're still on a four game winning streak. Five and five in their last 10. Atlanta, four and six in their last 10. Um, yeah, I mean, the Hawks really aren't playing that good. Hawks are on a nice, they're, I mean, both teams are on a decent little win streak, but in their 10 game sample size, have racked up a lot of losses here. Six points. We'll take the six points with Hornets. Um, Hawks can't try. I, I can't really trust either team um, on a six point being six point favorites here. Not sure I want to do it. We'll take Charlotte and the points. Next matchup, we have the Memphis Grizzlies versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota opening up as one point favorites with the over under at two eighteen and a half. Uh, the last ten head to head, Memphis eight and two. 9 and 1 covering in those 10 matchups. The over under in this series is 6 and 4. Uh Memphis 5 and 5 in their last 10. Minnesota 3 and 7 in their last 10. One of those losses was to Memphis 125 to 118. Memphis on a 7 game winning streak against Minnesota. 7 and 0 covering against Minnesota. Kind of a crazy stat. No real major injuries to report here. Memphis has dominated the head-to-head -head battle and they've been able to cover getting them plus one here maybe there'll be some line movement throughout the day I'm not sure but um yeah everything's in favor of Memphis in, in this matchup and uh yeah we're gonna roll with the Grizzlies here next matchup we have the Orlando Magic versus the Milwaukee Bucks Bucks opening up as 14 and a half point favorites with the over under at 214. The last 10 head to head, Milwaukee 9 and 1, 8 and 2 covering in those 10 matchups. The over under in this series is just 3 and 7. Orlando 3 and 7 in their last 10. Milwaukee 4 and 6 in their last 10. Um, 
But, you know, Milwaukee getting a lot of their players back. Middleton's back, so that's good. They're getting all their key pieces back. Good spot for them to just destroy Magic here. Uh, Magic dealing with some injuries. More Suggs are questionable, and we'll see if they play. Um, but yeah, I like Milwaukee. Since Middleton's back, I like them to get a nice little win against this Magic team here. Next matchup, we have the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Portland Trailblazers. Blazers opening up as six-point favorites with the over-under at 218. The last 10 head-to-head, Portland 7-3. covering in those 10. The over-under in this series is 7-3. I do see Lillard is probable Saturday. And then, you know, Philly has all, you know, no Embiid still. Um... Five and five in their last ten. Portland five and five in their last ten as well. Uh, one of those was a loss to Philly, one thirteen to one hundred three. Um, you know, Portland. There's just, just a team you can't trust. You know, when you this is this is how it's kind of been. They get a nice matchup, a team with no Embiid, and they end up losing outright. I mean, they do it all the time. It's kind of embarrassing, honestly. Um, yeah, I mean, earlier they were two-point favorites against Philly, and they lost by 10. Taking Philly plus six here. I uh, just, you know, Lillard coming into this game a little bit banged up. Not going to do it. We'll take Sixers plus the points. All right, guys, next matchup, we have the Miami Heat versus the Washington Wizards. Heat opening up as one-and-a-half-point favorites with the over-under at 210. The last 10 head-to-head, Miami 8-2. Washington 6-4 covering in those 10. The over-under in this series is 6-4. Miami currently on a four-game winning streak, coming off a 112-97 win over Washington. Um, Washington 5-2 in their last seven. You know, on a two-game losing streak, in a little doubleheader against Miami here. Uh, no major injuries to report. Um, Tyler Harrell and Bam are questionable for this matchup. I still like the Heat. As long as Jimmy Butler's playing. Still have a solid squad. We're able to beat Washington pretty good here. As uh, six and a half point favorites in the last matchup. Only one and a half point favorites here. Going to roll with the Heat. Next matchup, we have the New Orleans Pelicans versus the Indiana Pacers. Pacers opening up as seven and a half point favorites with the over-under at 214 and a half. The last 10 head-to-head, the Pelicans six and four. Eight and two covering in those 10 matchups. The over-under in this series is four, five, and one. Pelicans two and eight in their last 10. Coming off a 94 to 81 win over the Clippers. Pacers currently on a three-game losing streak. Uh, just five and five in their last ten. Pelicans three and seventeen in their last twenty. Zero oh, and six covering on the road here. You know, hard to trust this Pelicans team. They did get a nice win over the pace over the Clippers yesterday on a back to back here. Hard to trust Pelicans in this spot. We're gonna roll with the Pacers. Next matchup, we have the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Boston Celtics. Celtics opening up as 10 and a half point favorites with the over under at 205 and a half. The last 10 head to head Boston 6 and 4, 6 and 4 covering in those 10. The over under in this series is 4 and 6. OKC 5 and 5 in their last 10. Coming off an 89 to 96 loss against Milwaukee. And then the Lakers coming off a 130 or the Boston coming off a 130 to 108 win over the Lakers. OKC 7-2 covering the spread in their last nine games here. Uh, Boston 6-3 in their last nine. Had a nice win against the Lakers coming off a back-to-back. We'll see if they limit anyone's minutes here. Um, OKC though, you know, coming off a nice cover against the Bucks. Same scenario here, given 10.5 points. I think I'm going to take OKC plus the points here. Um, double digit points. I'm going to take that a lot of the times. OKC, okay, they've been able to cover, cover against the Bucks yesterday. Um, 
you know, when they've been double digit underdogs, they'd covered against the Lakers, they covered against the Clippers. I mean, yeah, they've covered their last three as 10 digit underdogs. Gonna take OKC plus the points. Then the last matchup, we have the Utah Jazz versus the Sacramento Kings. Jazz opening up as seven point favorites with the over under at 223 and a half. The last 10 head to head, Utah nine and one. Eight and two covering in those 10 matchups. The over under in this series is five and five. Utah currently on a two game winning streak. Uh, six and four in their last 10. One of those wins was a 119 to 113 win over the Kings. Kings just three and seven in their last 10. Uh, yeah, no injuries to report for either side here. Fully healthy Jazz team. Yeah, we're taking Jazz minus seven here. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday, and I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.